Hi everyone, uh, this is Alexander from the Indigo Light YouTube channel and blog. I want to welcome you to another video. Uh, today we'll be discussing the month of October and the upcoming month of November, the energies that are affecting the planet at the moment, all of us, of course, collectively and individually. Um, I begin most videos with saying a big thank you to all of you for the support. The uh, channel and the blog have been receiving unparalleled amount of love, not uh, something I would have expected, not at least in this magnitude. So I want to thank you for uh, for the subscribership and for the likes and the love that we received also on the Facebook page. Um, it's grown exponentially. And to be very honest with you, I'm quite humbled and none of this was really expected. So I want to give a big thanks to everyone who's been following the channel from uh, from Higher Self, which is uh, the portal that we use in order to publish some of our videos. And of course, the Indigo Light channel, which you can uh, subscribe to. We'll have everything in the description of the video. I invite you also to check out the Facebook page, which is uh, where you get most of the updates regarding what's coming up. And um, of course, there's a web the website, sorry, indigolightlove.com, where you'll have everything. And there are sessions available if those interest you. And I'll go into the workshop uh, that we're putting uh, out at the end of the uh, beginning of November, sorry, regarding the twin flame concept and the soulmates and love and relationships in 5D. But let's retract and come back to uh, what this video is about. Um, we're going through a very intense period in terms of the energies that are enveloping the planet. And I really want to take a few minutes to, to, to elaborate on that. Um, I work with clients on a steady basis. I've been getting some um, very interesting emails about extreme situations that people find themselves in. On a personal note, I've been feeling very intense energies through meditation during the day, um, intense visions of what is to come. Um, not not from the stance of seeing the future so much, but in sense of um, sensing the the magnitude of the, what is what is happening to us at the moment. Um, mo moments of elation and moments of joy, and I want to kind of explain where those come from to my understanding and what I've been asked to share uh, by my guidance through this video. Um, I've talked about uh, grounding and completion into the fifth dimension, and about the fact that there was a a common understanding in the spiritual circle throughout the internet, teachers here and there on the four corners of the earth, um, that there would be an event coming, something big that we had to kind of passively sit by and wait for. And it was my understanding that all of this had already happened. And the difficulty to believe would, would only stem from our uh, clarity and understanding if we really looked at our lives and what was happening. Um, the place we find ourselves in at the moment through the intensity of the energies that are getting more and more difficult to deny, uh, especially in the month of October, which is a physically grounding month, and the month of November is going to be even more so. Um, the month of July until the month of September were months of clearing, purging, releasing the energies that do not serve. There was a lot of spiritual cleaning up within. Um, as I mentioned in my last video, one thing my teacher imparted upon me when I started my learning journey was that the trajectory of spirituality, ascension in any form, is more of a spiral than a steep climb up a mountain. So basically, you climb up a stage and you get stopped by your ego to make sure that you're ready to implement lessons. And then when you're done with that and the universe sees that you are indeed committed to changing your old ways, you start ascending again. Um, so it's not a very clear-cut trajectory. There's always periods of um, kind of forward inertia and then periods of not stagnation but i'll call it implementation within our physical reality and our inner you know state of self the place we find ourselves in today if we are to entertain the notion that perhaps the fifth dimensional awareness is already here um, is the the grounding of our new physical reality and that physical reality comes forth like a i guess you know kind of a weight you know, superposed upon the third dimensional reality and starts pushing the third dimensional reality elements that do not serve to the surface so that they can be released. So, as I mentioned in the last few videos regarding the bridge between 3D and 5D, the place that is comfortable and that we know and the place that is unknown but we feel we're really drawn to and the bridge of faith between the two, this is the journey that we're doing at the moment. Having said that, this journey is not a spiritual passive journey whereby we sit and we meditate and wait for it to happen. There are a lot of um, changes that happen just from our inner state 
relationships that we let go, relationships, new relationships from people that come to us by way of resonance that we go into, changes of location, changes of, I won't call it a career, I'll call it a purpose. I work with an inordinate amount of clients that um, come and, and feel frustrated with their old you know, way of um, creating financial abundance and try to gear towards something that is more meaningful and has is, is connected to their inner essence of being. That trajectory comes always with a question mark. A, do I have enough knowledge to do this? Which is a question I get all the time. And the answer is, of course. There's no accreditation from the universe. There's no university of, of the source. You know what you know. It's the energy you came with before you even born into this physical vessel. And that energy is what's asking to come outward. You know, you don't need to study infinitely more in order to get to a certain point. We're not doing, we're not talking about uh, medicine or about, I don't know, quantum mechanics or anything like that. Um, and of course, the fear of financially, can I provide for myself? Because we're still in a monetary structure, whether we like to admit it or not. So those are, those are the two big question marks that I can use in regards to purpose to highlight the place that we find ourselves in. For many, not all, of course. And you may or may not resonate with this. This is fine. Um, if you resonate with it everything, everywhere, that would be a problem. You have to kind of um, gear to find your own truth and your own inner voice, which is what this entire trajectory is about. So there is the trajectory, sorry, the, the transition that we're on at the moment, the, Q, the question marks that come along with that, and of course the anxiety, frustration, fear, and anger that come up. Now what I want to talk about, and I mentioned this in the last video, is these emotions. These emotions are not here as a punishment. They're not here by happenstance or serendipity. I say that in a funny way. Um, they're here because they don't need to be here anymore. They don't serve us. They are our 3D um, survivalist instinct way of reacting to situations. And they're asking to go, and the minute we release them and we accept that we can do things a different way, they don't need to come back. I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I've been getting some weird emails and, and I've been doing sessions. People getting in very um, extreme physical situations that are basically shutting down old parts, old parts of their lives and pushing them to new ones. But they are done in such a way that is often so in your face and I'm not going to say aggressive. I'm going to say, um, you know, pertinent to the fact that they need to accept that they need to change their reality. And if things have become so obvious, it's because someone hasn't been listening for a very long time. Now, having said that, because it may happen to a lot of you and it may not, having said that, um, we are all human beings. We retain human traits. It's okay to be afraid, it's okay to be angry, and it's okay to feel alone. These are not things that are going to vanish in a day, and there's nothing wrong with that. There is no right or wrong manual in terms of how to live life in this new paradigm. What I would like to share through this video that I've been asked by my guidance to do is the notion that we are not alone. So in an old way of dealing, dealing with things, when we had something happen to us, we could have gone into victimization mode, into fear, I'm alone against the world and all these things. And perhaps at that time that was true in the perception of self. Today we find ourselves in a 5D way of looking at things. So the first thing I'd like to impart is to speak to our emotions before they come and overwhelm us, our anger, our frustration, and our fear. The second thing is to ask our guidance for help. It's a thing I'm seeing that is not necessarily done enough, especially when we're tried by our souls and the journey. It's the implementation that if I get in a weird predicament physically, not spiritually, and it's kind of scary, it's unknown, and I don't know what on earth to do with that, my first instinct shouldn't be to react with fear. It should be to close my eyes, to count from five to one, go within my heart and say, whoever you are, if you know your guidance, if you don't know them, if you talk to them, if you don't, put it out there. They hear you, they will reciprocate. All they want is the channel of communication to be opened. And the third thing is to understand that when things happen to us, it is not by way of punishment. It is because there are certain elements in our reaction and in the way we will handle things that don't need to be there anymore. Okay, so it's really important to identify them. If I get in a situation and anger comes up and the situation may be way out of my, you know, out of my comfort zone or difficult to handle, I need to believe that I'm here for a reason. I need to understand that my guidance will have my back. I just need to figure out why I got in this situation and why things are presenting themselves this way and to talk to whatever comes up. If I'm afraid, I talk to my fear. If I'm angry, I talk to my anger. 
It fights anxiety or frustration and maybe fear or anger or something else or my ego. Okay, but the point is to start gearing ourselves towards understanding that we are not alone. And our emotions are here to serve us in learning, in sorry, in helping to teach us how we shall release them so that they don't need to be here anymore because everything is a lesson. The, the second part of what I'd like to say, and of course all of these things that I'm saying are not, they're not new. They're, you know, they're, I guess they're obvious, sometimes they're not, but it's not easy to start shifting our behavior from the way we were because we've been so for so many years. So we need to give ourselves some credit. Um, what I try to do is to create a community where people can communicate and rely on each other and understand first and foremost that they're not alone. And I guess there are millions of people throughout the world doing exactly what I'm doing and God bless all of them for, for this endeavor to try to put your truth out there and try to say to somebody on the other end of the planet through a computer, through the internet, in the English language or the Spanish language or the Arabic language or whatever language, I'm going through the same journey. You are not alone. If you want to communicate, reach out. I will answer. Okay. This is, I guess, the metaphysical understand. sorry, the physical understanding of, of being quantum, of being in a plane of consciousness where we all communicate, even though this is a piece of machinery with a screen, you know, and we're communicating through binary, through optic fibers and so on. We are one family. We are here to communicate with each other. Okay. And it may or may not be easy to understand at this time, but we also need to communicate with the voice within our inner heart chakra and to try to ask our guidance when we need help, when we need to understand a situation and we don't know where, you know, the road is pointing us to. Um, the second part is the physical grounding. Okay. I understand that the month of October, and I see it from my own journey, um, can be overwhelming. And the month of November shall be even more so. This is not a bad thing. My guidance feels like we are ready to put our truths out there and to share with others. Not everybody at the same exact rhythm, but there is a consensus energetically. And of course, we need to start doing so, changing in our reality what does not work by physical actions, not words, and not passively waiting for an event or something, you know, bigger than us to happen while we wait. We are here to create our reality. And we are, you know, infinitely powerful. We just need to kind of listen within and find the inner truth and what it tells us to do at this time. Um, so it's important to understand all of these things, again, working with our guidance. There is a physical grounding period. I see it, of course, with my own journey, which is ultimately my truth and the place I speak from, um, and being asked by my guidance to share. Many changes are happening. I speak to a lot of people. Um, I offer sessions. People that are interested in shifting from their 3D career and their you know, physical, sorry, financial abundance to new pastures, and they don't really know how to do so. And there is, of course, the two question marks that I mentioned before, the fear and the fear to create financial abundance. All of these things are a new paradigm, and they're not easy to come by, but they necessitate physical actions, and physical actions done by faith, to understand that whatever you were before, whatever you're doing, you were doing great, you were doing so-so, whatever, you were doing something, and it wasn't necessarily benefiting others in the same level that you could be putting yourself out there and helping for real. And for that reason, you need to start shifting into a new mode of doing things, a new mode of um, adding meaning to your life and the lives of others by way of just putting your truth out there because your truth is all you have. You don't need an, an accreditation from the universe, as I said before. You just need to put what's in your heart out there and that's enough. Trust me about that. It's exactly what I'm doing and it seems to be helping a lot of people and I'm one of many, many people um, across the world that are doing this exact thing. So the physical work to be done with the faith that it will take us in the right direction and with the understanding that our guidance is here to help guide us in the right direction. And if things happen to us, we're not being singled out or punished. It's probably because we're not listening. And if we react to them, we don't need to react to them when, with extreme reactions. Even though there may be extreme things happening to us, we need to look at them and understand what is the lesson that we've been evading this entire time. Um, that's what I wanted to relate today. If you feel like this resonates with you, I'm very happy for that. If you feel like you need help, you can reach out to me by email. My personal email is indigolight2222 at gmail.com. The website is indigolightlove.com. 
I invite you to subscribe, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself, to the YouTube channel, uh, Indigo Light. And there's, of course, a Facebook page if you are a Facebook uh, inclined person. I myself am on the fence, but uh, I do relate to it in terms of helping people that use this medium. Um, and the last announcement I will make is regarding the workshop. I will be offering a workshop in uh, the, the final day turned out to be the 11th of November, 11-11, on the love and relationships concept in 5D, with an emphasis on demystifying the twin flame concept and talking also about soulmates. Um, I've noticed a passive element in terms of relationships within this new age, and I always try to gear everyone not to be dependent on people like me who are you know, trying to help or other people, but to be dependent on yourself. To be self-reliant and to find within your heart everything you need. You don't need me or anybody else putting anything out there. Trust me about that. You need yourself. The only point is to be able to, you know, tune into your inner voice and to listen to whatever your guidance has to say to you. Once you open that channel up, you don't effectively need anyone else. Um, but I have come to understand that there's a lot of sitting and waiting for the right person to come along. And I really strongly believe that it's more of a creating aspect. Whereby, if you know, we, we are constantly working on ourselves, we're constantly releasing and awakening the parts of us that have been asleep. And when we do that, we naturally gravitate towards people that have been waiting for us, just like we've been waiting for them. So not to be so passive in that act. And of course, I want to elaborate on all of these things. Um, I was originally going to do the workshop in October, but I couldn't get my mind set on a date. That's why it was never um, anchored. And someone mentioned in one of the YouTube videos, the 11.11, I thought it has resonated with me before, but I thought that it would be an energetically charged day as it always is. Um, so I wanted to let people integrate into whatever, you know, energies were coming down at that time, instead of having to deal with a workshop on Twin Flames. Um, and I was in the kitchen that day when I made the decision and I was thinking exactly this thought. I turned around and I saw the dial of the kitchen saying 11-11, even though it was, I don't know, the middle of the afternoon. Um, and not only was it the synchronicity, of course, but it was the 11th of November. I walked over to my computer and I made the announcement because it was too funny to be ignored. Okay, um, so we are in a special place. And of course, these are, I guess, the metaphysical feedback from my guidance to tell us that we need to, you know, gear ourselves also by physical actions and do things out and put them out there by faith of, you know, our own hearts and try to understand that we'll end up exactly where we're meant to end up. And I'll close just by saying something that I've mentioned in the last couple of videos. Um, we are expanding and we are thankful and we are humbled. Uh, it's myself and a very small team of two people helping out and I'm very thankful for that as well. I don't take anything for granted. Um, we would appreciate any kind of contributions or the donations that you feel like are in your hearts to make. We are trying to get a paperback version that is, you know, as beautiful in, in wording as it is in terms of publication out there. It's a costly process. I'm not going to, you know, diminish that. Uh, sorry, undermine that. And um, of course, the website should try to make it more professional, more features, more content, and to try to make it advertising free, which is something I'm really trying to avoid um, because I don't believe in it personally. But sometimes, you know, that we are conflicted with financial realities. So if you find it in your heart to contribute even a dollar, anything, if this resonates with you, if you feel like this message works for you, and if you feel like, you know, you can extract some information from this content, and of course, if you want to reach out, I invite you to do so, and I'm thankful ahead of time. So I want to thank you all for your presence here. Um, navigate safely from the heart. Talk to your guidance. Talk to your emotions. You are not alone. The perception of self, the limiting of self needs to stop, and we need to start being exactly the way we were designed by the source and in, in, in the brightest you know, way that we can possibly be, to shine the brightest light. So I want to thank you all for your presence here. I will thank you from the heart, and uh, I send you my love, and I wish you a good evening, morning, night, wherever you are. Thank you.